Louisiana Beer Reviews Devil's Backbone Vienna Lager. This was sent to me by Douglas in Virginia. He says it's very popular in the uh, Virginia Beach area. All the bars and restaurants have it on draft. And then it's also sold on, in these pint cans, I guess 12 ounce cans also in bottles. So uh, this company's been brewing for 12 years, since 2008, at 12 years at the time of this recording. Best buy date is here, good. Uh, we're, we're within the best buy range, thankfully. Uh, never know these days when you, I guess at, at any time probably in history, you never know when you go to the grocery store or the liquor store, you're gonna find something woefully out of date, but this one is fresh. 5.2% alcohol, 18 IBUs. It's, like I said, it's from, this product is from Lexington, Virginia, which is along US Highway 11. United States Highway 11 starts in New Orleans, runs up to Lexington and continues on to the Canadian border. Uh, 7.5, oh, sorry, wrong beer. I'm looking at the wrong notes. 5.2% alcohol. As soon as I said I knew that was wrong. 5.2% alcohol, 18 international bitterness units. The malts are Pilsner Vienna, Dark Munich, and Cara Amber. The hops are Brewer or, or um, Northern Brewer and Saz. It gets a very good score in Beer Advocate 85, a 43 out of 100 on Rape Beer. So they're saying, and it's not good. It's bad. But in the style, they give it a 90. <laughs> so in the style, it's most excellent. We just hate the style. Vienna Lagers. Okay, get it. And a 72 on Untapped. Very high on Untapped. So I'll be checking out the video reviews for this. I'm sure there's a lot for this one. And the previous one I had from Devil's Backbone, the lock, the uh, a golden lager. Okay, I like Vienna lagers. Uh, I guess around here we don't get too many. Some people say Samuel Adams Boston lagers are Vienna lager. I don't think the company makes that claim. Uh, Thick foam, off white head. Bubbles clinging to the side. I used this glass for the previous Devil's Backbone beer, so it could have something to do with that. Um, racing bubbles, etch bottom, amber. Okay. The Victoria you see here and there around here from Mexico, amber lager. What is it? About 4% alcohol, very light. Um, don't see it too much, but I love that one. 5.2 is more my speed, though. Gives it more body, more character. Yeah, toasted malts here. Sweet toasted malts. Think along the lines of like Roman meal bread crust. I haven't had Roman meal in over 30 years, I'm sure. That was a good beer brand. Spicy malts. I guess the spiciness is coming from the yeast or the the hops. Hmm. Northern Brewer and Saz. Medium bodied, pretty dry finish, crisp finish. Mostly dry, I guess. 18 IBUs, yeah. It's got a little more bitterness than I would expect with 18. <clears throat> I guess, I don't know if it's better than the Victoria, just, or the Dos Equis Ambar. They're all different. They all have their place. Uh, those probably have corn, Mexican corn as an adjunct. This doesn't have adjuncts. Okay. Um, Negro Modelo also has adjunct. That's a great Vienna style lager. Also 5.2. So the, the, does this beat out Modelo Negro? Uh, I don't know about that, but they're they're both really enjoyable. And um, I don't know what the price point is on this. I've never looked at the prices. Couldn't tell you. Um, Doug could. He bought it. He sent it to me. I tell people, don't send me beer. It's a big expense, a lot of trouble, but he, he said, no, 
in the past he said no I want you to try these I want to watch your video I said okay and I wasn't expecting this and I um there it was on the front porch from the uh, from the United States Postal Service all right so nice looking product gonna score it just the same as the lager the golden lager I'm gonna give it a 93 out of 100 so a most excellent beer a 93 out of 100 keep up the good work devil's backbone and I'm gonna end this review by saying y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana